Hello and welcome to Blender Bite Size. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this material procedurally in Blender. Feeling lazy? You can support this channel and skip the hard work by grabbing the blend file for this material from Gumroad for just a pound. Feeling flush? Feel free to throw some of that coin my way using the coffee link in the description below the video. Now I've reorganized my interface for the fabric tutorials that are going to be coming up over the next few days. But basically we've got the same two elements. We've got the node uh, editing area for the material of the object. And we've also got the viewport shading uh, enabled here with the object loaded. So basically I used to have the object at the top of the screen and this node selection at the bottom. But I thought because we've got this sort of large um, tall object, it might be better this way around. You can of course organize your workspace however you want, but the main goal is to have your object visible with viewport shading enabled and the material node editing screen available. Now I've already got a principal shader and material output added and we're going to take a look now at creating a gold lame effect. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to change is the base color. I'm going to use the hex code D4AF37 to give us a goldy color. Now we're going to increase the metallic to one and the specular to one. And then we need to do something else. Now gold lame isn't totally reflective. It's actually got, if you look it up, quite a distinctive look. So I'm gonna try and replicate that. And we're gonna press Shift A and search for a noise texture. And we're going to plug that into the roughness of the principal shader. We're also going to add a texture coordinate plug the object value into the vector of the noise texture so you can now see it's got all this sort of patterning on it and to control that a bit better we're going to add a color ramp in between the noise texture and the principled shader so let me just show you what the noise texture looks like on its own it looks like that and I will increase the detail to 15 and the roughness to 0.69. So you can see it's kind of a mottled effect. So if I now add in the color ramp, change the interpolation mode to B spline, move this black value over to about, let's say 0.3 and then keep the white value there and bring back in the rest of it, we can now see that we've got this sort of mottled gold effect. Now, of course, you can increase the scale or decrease the scale depending on the scale of your project. In fact, actually, I quite like it at around there too. That's good. Um, so yeah, that's actually quite simple, really, when you look at it. Um, obviously, I'm using the fabric setup that I showed in a previous video, which I will link to. Um, but let's just render that out using the Cycles Render Engine and 500 samples and take a look at the finished result. And there we go, our gold lame fabric. Now, I have got denoising enabled so that's kind of cancelled out a fair bit of this texture so let's try running that through again without it and there you can see to my eye that's slightly better um, but it's entirely up to you of course whether you want to use the denoising or not but I hope you've enjoyed that video and will find it useful please remember to give the video a thumbs up of course, subscribe for future content. And in the meantime, thanks for watching.